Leaving a baby in a hot car is not babysitting. Are we live, man? Yep. Oh my God. Episode number 29. How did you guys go with question last week? Oh, it was, uh, it was, I did feel quite uncomfortable yeah, you were. to be honest. Yeah. He was fucking like very, something off about him. His energy has shifted. He's, is there some sort of disassociation in his brain and I don't like it, man. I don't like being around it. And, and you did that to him, by the way. You yeah. fucking ruined no. his life. When you're a kid, you were young and dumb, man. You don't know what you're doing. We all did dumb shit. I don't remember those days much. I certainly didn't do that much dumb shit with my brother, but hey, um, look, I'm not judging. It was a long time ago. See, I can already see it. He's playing mind games with you. He wants you on his side. Well, no, look, I'll never be on he, I'll side. never touch that. I can't, I I can't trust him. sickening. Like, I'll never touch that. Yeah. But, you know, he, it was, it wasn't self-inflicted here. You, you, you know, you abused him. Some say abuse, some say self-defense. Kids. Okay. It's just kids being kids, I say. Boys will be boys and toss each other off is a very common phrase. Yeah, yeah, we all get on yourself. Oh, job. by the way, Michael, I have your key. Oh, oh my God. Um, holy shit. What, what's happened? We've, look, we had a very rare oh. night out on Saturday night. We thought we were, it was like Friday. We're like, you know what? Mm. Let's have a fucking, we haven't bloody had a bloody drink in like three months. So let's have a bloody cheeky little boys night. And we just went and started playing some sport. And fucking before you know it, we're f- fucked. Yeah, like, I don't remember a fucking thing. Like, <laughs> alcohol wipes my memory. Yeah, I can't. It, it's not. And I, like, it's three days after now and I am not 100%. I yeah, can't. My, I can, even the whole time, just so nauseous, just tummy can't handle it. And like, it was such a fun night though. It's it good. It, going out, it's, I'm just getting over it though. Eh? It's like, we just sit at a table and oh. someone can hand us a bottle and then we just sort of try and speak loudly to each other yeah i don't i I wish i remembered it it's all just like it didn't happen it was just nothing matt wasn't there i just remember the kick-ons and then me and julian did like we went live on discord and (laughs) fucking yeah i was in bed by 3 30 or something we run a mark mate we run we fucking run a storm up (laughs) come what about you matt where were you mate hey i went to the gold coast for the weekend so Matt wasn't there, unfortunately. He couldn't help celebrate with us. But man, Jackson came and Lockie came, Julian came, and yeah, a lot of fun was had. But we're still feeling it now. Oh, so it's fucked up, man. Yeah. You get? Do you get like anxiety and shit? Oh like, yeah. Oh yeah. When anxiety. I wake up. Or like even just like, what's the other one that people have? Depression. Depression. Yeah. <laughs> Like that one's just like, oh, you just feel sad. About what though? It's just hard to get motivated. Because no, you've been on drugs and all these highs. Yeah, you use all, all your dopamine's fucking gone when you wake up. And then you're like, fuck, I'm sad and I don't know why. And it's just because the chemicals aren't there no more. Yeah, you're saying that after drinking, that's how you felt. And well, yeah, and drugs. Like We didn't know MD though. Like, yeah, but cocaine's just, I swear, it fucks me just. Uh, no, no one near worse. as bad. I don't know. Uh, maybe because I didn't, all my coke experiences have been, I've had good spaces, like yeah. a couple of months between. Yeah, yeah, one. that's fine. Yeah. But, yeah. but you know, it's been a while since we've done it, but it's still just never as good as it was when you begin. Yeah, it's, so, it's, yeah. it's, it's like this. <laughs> so yeah. true. Yeah. So true. But yeah, so that was our weekend. We've been bloody busy making content. We fucking today, we fu- and while you're listening to this, this will be out on the website. We fucked with Julian pretty good today. It worked a lot better than I thought it would. I, I first of all thought he I thought he wasn't going to yeah, let us do it. He, we blindfolded him and said, we've got a surprise for you. And he got into the car with us, let us drive him to the coast. He had no idea what we were doing. He, I think secretly he thought we were going to give him something like a really nice gift. Fuck! But anyway, we took him to the <laughs> oh, we took dude. him to the slingshot at the Gold Coast. You know and that you put ride? Him on the ride, and then Fuck, fucking sent him fucking gently. And he hates heights. He like I <laughs> went handle with him. it pretty well. Yeah, I went with him, and he like as the pressure goes up and it starts the G force starts to pull you back down. His eyes are in the back of his head. <laughs> he looked like he was blowing. And then, but then like I don't know. Once I sort of realized what was going on. His, the, the girl, before she let us go up, was like, oh, I, you know, I'm worried it's really about windy. wind. really windy, yeah. So, then I got stuck in my head when I was up there that You're the wind was going to snap the fucking cord and then I just stressed out and I ended up looking like <laughs> a fucking bitch, man. Like, 
<laughs> I started freaking out, closing my eyes and saying, is it like lowered yet, Julian? And I, I wasn't cool. <laughs> Have, have you ever like Googled um, like the slingshot compilations on YouTube? Yeah, yeah I've seen funny stuff now. of people. That's what there. we were hoping would happen. Yeah, well, he like you know how people do sort of pass out a bit? Yeah. He started to and fucking, oh. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. So, you know, fucking, which brings us to our sponsors of the show, right? The subscription website, what we were just talking about. You got 21 day free trial. You can watch the vid, see if you like them enough to stick around. If you don't, that's easy. You just email support and we'll cancel your subscription. Done. Just like that, right? So, if you want to support us, so you can subscribe to the website, support the podcast, subscribe to the website. But if you can't, and a lot of you can't, and that's fair enough. Like I, like I said, I don't think that I would. Yeah, well, uh, to us, I would, but like, there's no one else really. Yeah. So, so if you don't, well, that's fine. Okay. But you, if you could just maybe leave a comment, leave the comment, comment, you like the video and subscribe. That's help enough, man. That's all we need. Last week's podcast is performing very well, Matthew. We're back up to the bloody bigger numbers now. More views. That was nice, eh? <laughs> well, I think we have a strong start. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So fucking- The loyalists. Loyalists. So bloody, if if you can't support us financially, just give us fuck cheeky. Well, just like the video or don't, whatever. I'm sick of asking. I'm turning, we've turned into fucking what everyone else does. Don't worry about it. Fuck right, it. Just listen to it. Don't worry about it. Fuck it. Just, just do whatever you want to do. If you, it's too hard to pause it, uh, just it's fine just listen on okay? unsub yeah don't no. even listen to this no. we'll no, wait for you it. to leave <laughs> no. let's be bad boys man let's fucking get up let's tell everyone let's to unsubscribe yeah. cunt no. oh seriously let's no. fucking oh, fucking unsubscribe cunt you do it no you say it no. No. tell them that's a scroll cunt that's not what we I'm fucking I'm nervous cunt I'm yeah, shaking dude, I'm here. Here. No, you look no. serious no. serious no. And also, of course, Manscaped.com. Manscaped, one of the very few companies who would ever consider sponsoring us. They have some cool male grooming shit, man. And there's a Father's Day sale on at the moment. So if you want 20% off, all you have to do is use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 and you're going to have 20% off everything that you buy. They've got some of the best ball shavers ever. I shave you I would say. I'm clean. Michael's balls have never been so clean. You still have to be careful, all right? They're not, it's not 100% foolproof. You can't just be super reckless. Otherwise, you might still nick your balls. But they're very, very good compared to what is out there. Other razors, remember back in the day, you'd get a fucking, the razors you use for your face. You'd try it on your balls. And if you fuck up, <laughs> yeah, it's instantly blood. just fucking blood. There's blood. Pissing I, out. I found that the, the the electric razors were more dangerous than an actual just face razor. Yeah, exactly. Like face razor just go across smoothly fine. But yeah, those electric ones are zap. Like, yeah. Well, you got to be like, if you're using the normal razors, you got to like stretch your balls. Yeah, yeah. You got to. It's such a. It's like a mission. And it's then quite creative. And then, yeah. but then also Beautiful. when it grows back, it's so fucking itchy. If you use a, a clean razor, if you're not used to it, yeah. or maybe I don't know. Oh yeah, you got to you got to be regularly. But yeah, this thing, I swear to God, just make sure that you sort of. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> and unsubscribe, man. Also, in other news, before we continue, I've got a headache. The podcast awards, right, Matt? They fucking oh. the nominations and are, are now they open. have opened. They have opened. So if you, I don't know if you guys remember last year, we got made like top ten the listeners' choice award. This year, we didn't even realize this was a thing. The podcast awards. So this year we're aware that they've opened the nominations now so we have to nominate ourselves so you guys don't need to do anything yet but we're gonna I'm pretty sure it's pointless because they want us to send in what is it Matt three yeah, three think, minute clips from a podcast yeah it's something along those lines yeah. so we're thinking like what do we send a compilation of me ripping my ass cheeks apart do we send a Matt Brown diary entry no <laughs> We, obviously, we can't send that to these mainstream award ceremonies. So we'll see if we can come up with something. But if we, if even if we are not nominated for anything, the listeners' choice will be the. We'll let you guys know when the lines open. And fuck me, let's see if we can get this podcast known. Like, how funny would it be if we, even if we just made like the top five of this mainstream podcast awards show, and the things we say and do, especially this cunt, we shit ourselves on this podcast. Mm, it's still shit on the seat. There's well, cups of cum and got, teeth. <laughs> 
cups are coming taking shit line around imagine if we got fucking top five cunt there'd imagine, be bloody right, mayhem one of the funniest moments last year when we did enter it we it was quick and we got in i think we came seventh was it yeah something yeah. like that yeah and one of the best moments of the whole that awards show was the girl reading out the marty and michael fully actual and then she sort of looked up at the screen like what the fuck is that <laughs> <laughs> who says that word yeah, <laughs> yeah so, it's cute. It. so we'll keep cute. you guys posted but yeah the listener's choice will probably be the thing that we go for the most similar to last year because we don't like if prof- industry professionals are, are choosing who's nominated obviously we're not gonna fucking make it if they're listening to the fucked up shit that you say oh man it'd be so cool if we won imagine that cool. and I think it's about just sticking it to the to the man yeah, oh, to the man. sticking it to him like imagine doing like a real serious podcast about like health and helping people which is pretty much what we do hundred and like, and relationships and then like we come and it's our third season and then <laughs> bang and they've got they've been doing it for like four or five four seasons. or five seasons imagine that eh? they'd be so upset so we will need your help for that guys we need to gather all of our ring power and drive it straight into the heart of that we'll crush their website awards. another thing happened we have been contacted by a a c t a at the actor awards which is like the <clears throat> well let me read out this abbreviation all right because it's pretty cool <laughs> the the australian academy of cinema and television arts awards known as the actor awards so it's nothing like that's a very big award show but we're, we're not nominated or anything yet so what they do is they con they've contacted like 20 like com- what do you call it like people who make comedy videos online they've contacted 20 different creators in australia and we're one of them so now i had to fill out our application so now they're going to get industry professionals to vote and out of the 20 they're going to pick five of the best there's a new segment for this award show the best um online short comedy award or something like that which is what we have been they've contacted us to try and get us nominated for that show so industry professionals if they vote for us and i submitted the if humans acted like animals series because that got a fucking butt fuck load of views can you see that yeah i killed it anyway um so that's what we've submitted so now we find out soon industry again industry professionals have to vote for this so i don't see them picking our shit but imagine if we were one of the five nominated for the fucking like that's televised and everything we might even have to go down to the awards show that would be fun. i have to say fuck your yeah, um, hopes up and shit yeah i know your humans acting like animal series is probably some of your most pg work but it's very well, exact that's exactly so why i, I, I don't see why forwards. you you should count yourselves out i think you should we, be assuring. Yeah, well, yeah, but like the even the entry forms, I was just taking the piss so much. <laughs> <laughs> just writing like, cause fucking I, cause, shit because no, they ask the most the like most you know the most ridiculous questions. Like really, you know, it's it's a it's an award show made for like really high budget movies and shit like that. So the questions they were asking were so like pretentious and shit. But um, yeah, we'll you might not see even what be happens. televised. I hate to say that. Yeah, yeah, we, <laughs> yeah. it might just be like a shown a snippet of of the footage yeah, or something. My sister, not meaning to drop names, she did a short series with her her, co- her producing company, and they won an award. And I think it wasn't televised. It's only for the yeah. So there you go. But still, we'll keep you guys posted. See how we're going. Fucking here we go, cunt. Here we fucking rising up through it's the twenty twenty. We're stepping st- steering clear from ripping our toenails off. Now here we are potentially getting <laughs> actor nomination next job fucking seven news anchor i reckon 100 percent, the weatherman and i'll be the sports broadcaster holy shit dude and then and matt, when, when the olympics matt could be the fucking i'll be the be, current affairs guy bounding backwards and then, chasing criminals down the street <laughs> and then when the olympics come around we'll we'll be terrorists and we'll like have a fucking big guys some terrorists and Big bombs that kill lots of people. <laughs> the Olympics are on. Hang on, let's see who's calling right now. <coughs> I'm getting so many calls from. <coughs> oh man. Hello. Hi, sorry, it's after Jess. Do I have the wrong number? Yes, you do. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Oh, that's totally fine by me. <laughs> so, no, it's great to see. 
<laughs> she chuckled and hung up. <laughs> oh. Oh. So that's what's going on in our lives. You're all up today. Let's get on with the fucking show. We got some bloody secrets and some criminals. I have a very good secret. We got some questions from you guys. We got um. We, we there weren't many comments for the hunt in the last one, were there? I, no, th- I saw like three like or four. Three. Probably not enough to. We'll see how we go with the time. All right. There was another segment. A lot of people are asking about German segment. We've got an idea here, guys. Okay, so we want. I don't remember it. Well, I did get one guy. <laughs> <laughs> I got I did that in all everyday life. That's all you all you do now. Is just, I, my idea is, and then forget. Yeah. I did have one guy comment. Oh, sorry, I can't remember his name. <laughs> You're and, like me. <laughs> and um, and he said, uh, "Will we ever do an open submission of jokes? And we'd read out the best jokes from our from fans." Yeah. <laughs> if you got a funny, and I read through the comments, there were some very funny comments. Some people, the way people were describing Question was fucking hilarious. <laughs> some of them were very accurate. And uh, yeah, if if you if there's if, just comment jokes, whatever, you, anything funny goes. And the definitions we want. What was it yeah, we, we we had an idea. I don't know. It was pretty high. I came up with it. Like our definition of things. So you send us like a a word that you want to know what the actual definition is because like, the dictionary is just like it's just some random dude's opinion. You know. Well, if someone did ask a question of what. Um, <laughs> I'll get to it, but yeah, they ask what a certain word means. Yeah, extract. so if you want like the scientific, actual, real description and what words are and stuff, like you know, we've been doing this shit for years. 30. And we thought, why not share that skill? One, like, if, so if you have a hard word or a phrase or something, just anything in life you don't understand, we can explain the science behind that. All right, and maybe we'll put a story up on our Instagram next Monday or before we film the next podcast, and we'll just get some people. We'll get some people writing some shit in, and we'll fucking answer shit for you guys. How's that? You can even comment that on the YouTube podcast if you want us to explain something or define something. Comment, comment it. What are we going to call this? Marty Michael explains it. We'll just call it um, explaining things. Explaining things. Okay. All right, it's going to be a new segment next week. All right. Anyway, on with the fucking show. <laughs> and guess what? It's time for you fucking sick fucks. <laughs> it's time for some fuck you diary entries, you fucking gronk. You fucking gronk cunt. Diary entry number 136 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. Today I beed more bee. It was the beest I've been. If I had been any more bee, I wouldn't have been. Anyway, enough chit chat. I've figured out what I want for my funeral. I want the song Mamma Mia by Abba played as my corpse is lowered into my coffin by a rope that's tied around my lower jaw. And all attendees have to throw darts at my body. Then I want to be shot out on a rocket which is headed for the Southern Cross Star Formation. And that is where I want my body to rest. Again, this is legally binding, so please exist ignore me if I ever change my mind <laughs> it's, it's quite a request okay, no. that would be an ex- Mama mia. yeah he, he's just been paying around me his lower like jaw Abba. cunt around his fucking lower jaw do you jaw like cunt. Abba no. I reckon Abba's good Abba's like oh they've got some alright songs my like, mum showed me Abba yeah, exactly your, know, your mum from the my 70s my mum also showed me the Beatles yeah, but everyone liked the Beatles. Only, everyone liked ABBA. Nah, only, only Disco, yeah. Disco. Eh? Mm. Everyone liked the yeah. Beatles. Fifty percent liked ABBA. Man, they were good. ABBA is like ABBA is like the f- five seconds of summer version of the Rolling Stones. Oh wow, that's a pretty good description. Yeah, yeah they, you can't. I heard they were heavy Stones. into cocaine. Anyway, yeah, I think next everyone. story. Diary entry number one hundred and five from Marty. <clears throat> Today I played with my pet flies. I found them in my room. I saw them flying over a plate of old mints I found in the neighbor's bin. I named my pet flies mum and dad so that when the teachers ask, where is your mum and dad, I can finally say, mum and dad are at home. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> they always out in the farm or? <laughs> no, they were just never. No. Anyway. Diary entry number 69 from Julian James Tennyson Woods, Afro, 4060 till I die, can't you? Today I was telling my mates about how I'm like heaps good mates with Cursor, the rapper. I've even like done some of his music vids. Haha, <laughs> they're so sick. But yeah, I know Cursor. Um, what's it called? Me and Cursor hang out when he's in Brizzy and run a mark. Ha ha hey, we fuck so many chicks. Ew. But yeah, like I know Cursor. So yeah, I'll remind myself because it's important to remember that. Ha <laughs> ha. Stab, kick, stab, grab, stab, reflect, stab, love deeply, shake. I know Cursor. 
<laughs> I love deeply. Yeah. I wow. lo- love deeply. It says, yeah. There's an emotion. I well, it's Julian about Cursor. So. Yeah. Okay. And Julian, yeah, he does know Cursor. And yeah, he does. He does He's mention some music lot. videos for that guy. Yeah, yeah, he talks about that a lot. Yeah. That he knows He's Cursor. shown me them. So yeah, he talks to Cursor like all the time. So plays NBA with them and FIFA. So if you want to know what Cursor's like, message Julian. It's Julian Woods on Instagram and say, hey, mate, what's Cursor like? Because he would love to tell you. Okay. Yep. Is it fair, everyone? We're all going to message him. Let's message him now. He said, uh, haha, good. It was his birthday on the weekend. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Very good. Diary Very good. entry number 1073 from Matthew Gregory Brown. <clears throat> I was laying in my bed playing with my balls. I was letting my testicles fall through my fingers from one hand and into my other hand. It reminded me of the failed castration I had when I was 12 years old, as advised by my therapist at the time. My therapist seemed to think that my sexual urges were uncontrollable, and that castration was the only way I could become a functional member of society. Silly doctor. (laughs) The doctors put me to sleep, but I remember everything, as my little brown has its own separate memory. It seems that my little brown has a mind of its own. As the doctor moved his scalpel closer to my mince sack, my little brown came to life. It shot up and wrapped itself around the doctor's wrist. The shocked doctor tried to pull his arm away, but my little brown hardened. It hardened rapidly, which crushed the bones in in the doctor's wrists as if they were twigs. The doctor started screaming in pain, and my little brown released him. The other doctors backed away as they looked on in horror and weren't sure what to do next. One of the doctors started inspecting the injured doctor's wrists and I felt my little brown start vibrating. The base of my little brown started swelling. RUN! yelled one of the doctors. Just a scalding hot brown mince was power driven out of my little brown and straight into the face of one of the other doctors. As soon as my thick, thick matte magma slapped onto his face, you could hear the skin sizzle like a flaming hot Mongolian beef dish being brought out of a five-star Chinese restaurant. He too started screaming and desperately tried to brush my molten DNA off his face. My little brown wasn't finished. It stretched and dove straight into my own asshole. I felt it working its way up my colon and into my stomach. There it grabbed a few of the rat's tails I had eaten for breakfast that day and dragged them back out of my asshole. A doctor rushed over to to me with a syringe full of sedative to try and stop my little brown, but my little brown was too fast. It stretched up and around his neck and started choking him with the rat's tails. My eyes shot open just as I heard the doctor's neck being snapped. He was dead, and I was now awake and staring straight at my highly aggressive little brown. There was only one thing I knew would calm him. I wrapped both my hands around its shaft and bent forwards and and stuck the top of my little brown firmly into my mouth. I started sucking and tossing at great speeds, fighting against the strength of my little brown. All the nurses and doctors had now retreated to the corners of the room as they watched me suck and tox toss my murderous cock off in a violent way. I was getting close, but I was fatiguing. I needed help, and fast. I stopped sucking and screamed at one of the nurses, Dumb my earth if you want to live! The nurse was crying and panicked, but ran forwards and delved her thumb directly up my asshole. I came instantly in brown mints, shot out of my nose as I tried to swallow the tidal wave of cum. My little brown finally flopped onto my belly. Defeated, the room fell silent. I saw my opportunity and bounded backwards all the fucking way home to my underground tunnel system. I still think about that day now and smile. Oh, 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 oh. fuck. Man, have you ever tried to suck yourself off? Oh, that was horrible. Yeah, you remember it? Imagine getting castrated. Or st- have you ever tried to stick your dick up your ass? I've watched you do that many a time on a fucking after I'm on a fucking kick ons gun. I've watched Michael fuck himself at least ten times gun. <laughs> Who can say that? Who can say that here? Can you say that, Matt? You've watched a mate fuck himself? <laughs> you've only done it you've only watched yourself fuck yourself. Fuck me, dude. That was that was pleasant. Well, um Yeah, wow. So your therapist wanted you to get castrated. Mm. That must have been like... Man, how, do they do that in real life? Chemi- oh, yeah. They do chemical castrations, yeah. Oh, yeah. They... What? What do you mean? If you're a pe- pedophile... <laughs> they inject your nuts with some shit and it makes it so you're not horny anymore or some shit. Dennis Ferguson had it done to him. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you lying? No. Okay. Fuck, I didn't know that that was... We should real. do that for a video. Do, for- does chemical castration work? Is it a forever thing? I think so, yeah. Yeah. 
Maybe. It's a strong maybe. All right, those are the diaries this week. Matthew Brown? <coughs> oh. oh. That was a rough one. Sorry about that, mate. <laughs> anyway, next segment has been renamed to What Would You Like? Michael nearly passed out. And I think we'll have some um, questions, please, Matthew. Questions? Mm. Yeah, let's go some questions from you guys. Now, remember, if you want us to answer your question, all you got to do is comment on the YouTube channel. And whichever comments have the most likes, they're the ones that we read out, all right? So, fucking have a scroll through, see which questions you like and want us to answer. Give them a like and comment your own questions. See what happens, eh? I saw some comments, people noticing uh, Michael's how Michael's physique has changed. Did you see those comments? Yeah, I got a question about that. Hmm. I've lost. I've, I'm five kilos less. Yeah, but you fucking. Um, I've been putting cuts in my body. Yeah, fucking oath he has come. He's fucking all cut, cunt. <laughs> Michael is looking very handsome and swole lately. Twenty-seven fucking likes. Twenty-eight likes, young. <laughs> wow. People, that, people are seeing it. See. There you go. Now I feel happy. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Uh, <laughs> I smell like me at all, by the way. You getting whiffs of this? I don't know what you t- what you're no. saying, man. Okay. F- uh, top question. So top question is from Austin Keats. Um, if Marty and Michael could live anywhere in the world, where would it be besides Australia? <sighs> Maybe um, somewhere um, somewhere tropical and like uh, somewhere. Maybe. Um, Fuck, with the whole fucking fam, bam, I'd probably fucking flee to, like, fucking, fucking China. The motherland. Yeah, China. Yeah. Okay. Set up shop there. Michael? I'm going to say Scandinavia. Yeah, you I would I can't be. decide on which one. Yeah, it'd be like a Norway or a Denmark or something like that. Uh, mine would be a small island somewhere. A small island where- Bali. <laughs> nah, it's too many, too many bloody people there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wait, like really small, like Go, Norfolk no, Island? Yeah. The best island I've ever been is Koh Rong in Cambodia. You'd like that island. It's very remote. It's like the movie The Beach, the closest thing I've found. And just, yeah, live there and have Fuck, a- it makes me want to travel talking about countries. Oh, we will. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> Matt, we will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking, here we go, boys. <laughs> you we fucking love this shit. All right, Adam. <laughs> All right. Um, second most like question came from Question. There's a few questions flying well, around. I guess now. you can take the Question questions. Oh, it's not about Question. It's from Question. Question for the podcast, Michael. Cool. Michael, when you went to Thailand, did you sleep with any lady boys? If not, would you consider doing it? He says he's been to Thailand five times and he ended up doing it the last time he was there. And it wasn't too bad. Michael has fucked a lady boy, but he didn't know it was a lady boy. But yeah, he has fucked a lady boy. <laughs> I reckon it'd be hard to do. <laughs> I, I, no, it'd just be if, like if fucking was... a bum. It's just like fucking a girl's bum. <laughs> You've done that before. Just fuck another bum. You, you fucked if, a bum, you can fuck any bum. Anyone has a bum, you can fuck it. If, oh man, you'd have to be so like- just... Swapped. So horny and so drunk, and it it couldn't be sex. It it it'd have to be head. I'm I'm sure it has happened accidentally. <laughs> surely, it will, oh, yeah. dude. Have you seen that video? It's like a Snapchat, oh, yeah, famous Snapchat video. Oh, the English dude, yeah. yeah. And he's just, <laughs> oh, what's he calling calling her? <laughs> oh, the thing or something? Yeah, no. Oh no no, he's a, a calls boy's her his name. Oh, yeah, like a. Like, it's not a bad like bloke or no, it's oh, Paulie, or like yeah, Jimmy or Joe, Paulie, like, Jeffrey, isn't it? Oh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Yeah. Jeffrey. Oh, pull your dick out, Jeffrey. Yeah. Like, oh, dude, it's it's yeah. very it's like comedy porn. Um, yeah. that's what reminded me of that. But yeah, fuck. If I was drunk enough, I don't think I could go sex. I'd have to like I could kiss probably, it. You could kiss it. A I bit. could probably receive. There'd be yeah. A bit of shame the next day. I've got a theory. There's um, a lot of people uh, get a- addicted to the um, the attention they get from when they go there. From so the they don't get that books. attention in normal life. So when they go over there and they get all this attention. Well, I think like old dudes in general mm. go over there just because the, the amount of prostitutes there are. Mm. It's like they're in heaven. Exactly. And Padia, funny little story here. 
I've said this before probably. But that's where I first found out what prostitutes were when I was like eight years old. We were in Pattaya, which is like one of the sex capitals of Thailand. Did they try and fuck you? No. Oh, Pattaya. I mean, Pattaya. It's, it's, it's not. Pattaya. Fuck. All right. I like Pattaya. <laughs> I like Pattaya. Mum and my sister split up with me and my father. And as we were walking past the bars, all the prostitutes pulled us in. Mm. And dad's like, no, Michael. And I was like, we're going in there. <laughs> At eight years old. Yeah. Well, I was maybe you 10. You want to eat And then I was like, because I just couldn't believe it. Like, why are these pretty girls giving me attention? Mm. Then they sat me up in the bar. They're like, who's your mom? I'm your mom now. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, what's going on, dad? Dad's like, we got to go. And then he explained what sex. I don't think he explained what sex was, but prostitutions were. Mm. Prostitution was. And what they wanted from us. Did your dad hit any or shoot any? No, he was very respectful and just pulled me out and had a big grin and said, thank you, but no, thank you. Uh, did he then toss yeah, you Yeah, where did he get that grin from? <laughs> but yeah, it was a weird day. This is what they do, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, next question. Fucking Cut that, up. I had it. Cut that question. Cut yeah, that, that question. was a fucking shit question. We're not going to tell you whose question that was. All right, next question is from Snakes Makes. <laughs> Um, who was more sexual when they were younger, Queston or Matt? Matt, what do you reckon? I'm going to say Matt. definitely me. Yeah, you were definitely the more... Because you were the one who got him into it. Queston was just an innocent little boy before you wrapped your fucking hands around his little cock and showed him how to do what you do. Come on. Oh. You sex cunt. You Next fuck. question is from Noah. You fuck hard. Uh, wh- why is fuck Julian so him. gross and yucky? <laughs> I don't know why Julian gets labelled as that. Yeah, he's it, actually quite beautiful. Uh, he's, yeah, he's very handsome. Well, compared to, you know, especially even Michael, he's he's more hygienic and doesn't um, drink piss and shit. But um, uh, Julian's just, I guess Julian's just fucking disgusting because <laughs> of some it's, of his values. His character. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking spray paint and trains and fucking skate parks. Yeah. Fingers. And scooters and shit. Next question is from GR Freeman One. If the purge was a real thing, what crimes would you guys commit? All of them. I'd commit all of them. I'd no, I'd go straight to the chemist. Just steal. Yeah, steal, but you might have to murder people on your way. No. You wouldn't be the only cunt going on the would chemist. You, I, I wouldn't be able to kill someone. Would you do that? Well, it depends if they were coming at me with crazy looks in their eyes. Yeah, wow, well, okay. <laughs> and I had to protect. If there was Bosley in the corner and someone's trying to cut him up for meat, I'd happily, yeah. I'd happily stab a woman to death. <laughs> 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 yeah, I've thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> Only if they're coming at Boz, mm. so it's okay. <sighs> coming at anyone. If I see him walking in any direction whatsoever, <laughs> I'll attack him, can't I? <laughs> that's a threat yeah, stand even, still can't only in the purge though yeah yeah of course not not on a bloody Tuesday afternoon not normal popping life. out of coals can't <laughs> only specifically the purge oh I knew I knew next question is from Emmanuel Fiola this is blocked Fiola. Now. how did you guys manage to get to the peak of comedy above everyone else well it's not something that you can really answer because um, you're born with it we were born this good. We will die this good. We can't lose this skill. We can't add to this skill. <laughs> we are the best and we were born the best. It's like it's like being born with blonde hair and people being like, how's your hair so blonde? It's, it's like your you're, last name. You're fucking born with it. You're born with your last name. Sometimes you have to discover your secrets though. We, we didn't know that we were the best at this. When we were kids, we had no idea. We just thought we were just like normal, everyday other people. It's only when we're in our mid twenties that we found out we were actually superhuman. Yeah. Like, and when we found out, we're like, "Holy shit!" It's like finding out you're a fucking superhero. It's pretty surreal. But we save like, lives. It was, <laughs> it was crazy. Man, no, I, I, honestly, Matt, we, the day we're making we a difference, Matt. You're laughing, but nuts. we are. Yeah, we are making <laughs> such a big up. difference, and that's like, and that's honestly, that's the truth. So, yeah, you're born with it, all right? But you just got to you got to see what your skills and talents are, you know? You might not know it. Everyone is has a superhero buried deep into their fecal matter, but you just got to figure out what it is. So, Every- when you shit, you always got to look at your shit. Dig around. There's clues. Yeah, there is clues. That's why we always laughed when we shat. That was the clue, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. The fucking shit was so funny. It's like, fucking hell. 
I'm yeah. not even <laughs> trying, cunt, and that shit's yeah. fucking that shit hilarious, shit. It sucks shit, normally. Man, like, everyone comes over, they're like, man, your toilets are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and they are. They're fucking shit all over them. And that's fucking hilarious. That's yeah. our clue. That was our first clue. <laughs> yeah, that so was. So just dig through your shit and find out what your talents are and hone in on that, and you can be a superhero too. Everyone's got superhero in them, and most people don't figure out what it is. Where's a well, cape? Most people don't look at their shit. Bring, someone send us some capes. Yes, oh, a science cape. Man, Holy shit! Sift through your shit. We, yeah, we got the capes with the robes with the badges. It's next question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, next question is from Matthew Knowles. What is Marty? What is the wildest <laughs> thing you've ever done at a party? No. Specifically, you. Because I know one of the wildest thing was the. Uh, the oh bin. man! The, he, oh, the, yeah. one New Year's he was just naked the whole night, dude. And I, this wasn't like a normal party. This is like one of Shami's parties. Oh, is this the one where the underwear was just yeah, ripped? He ripped his underwear off. And he's like, uh, boys. Uh, no, like, it was. Look, if if I'm just standing in front of you, it, I was covered, but there was a huge gaping hole on the side of the. <laughs> Underwear. So when I walked and my legs would shift, <laughs> the ball bag would pop out every step I took. Ball bag, ball bag, ball bag with every step. And then you like you, he'd stand up in poses like with his leg up and his dick would just be hanging. <laughs> it was no really disgusting. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was so funny. All just to make us laugh. Like you were known as like such a freak, dude. Like there was no talking to us. It was just get as fucked as you can and make people laugh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. That was such a fun night. The most fucked thing though. I'm trying to fucking remember. What what's some of the shit that we've done? Oh, we um we used to do some pretty fucked up shit too. There's been I've done it with Henry and I've done it with Michael. We would, everyone would be asleep. We'd be up, staying awake, kicking on. And then we'd just go to whoever's throwing the party their kitchen, open the fridge and just piss all over, all through their fridge, oh. all through their pantry. And uh, you look, we were young and it was disgusting <laughs> behavior. But that's, we just became very destru Dude. destructive. <laughs> destruction tours we had. Like, yeah, and we and Henry named them destruction tours. Like you go out and you just break shit throughout the house. Yeah, and very disrespectful. Yeah, very mean. Back. And you know, so there'd be we'd we'd just be as mo as weird and as standing out as much as we could at parties. So we just did whatever we could to do that. We run a muck, man. Man, we ran a muck all <laughs> over the place. There was like muck, like all over the walls, an inch thick. <laughs> 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 Fucking muck, <laughs> uh. All right, next question. <laughs> I'll try and think of a better answer for that because I'm sure oh, there's something. Oh, there's, I'm sure there's a story there somewhere. But anyway, yeah, um, well, there was where shit would get weird. The Shami party was definitely a nice story. Yeah. Um, next question um, is uh, can you explain for us American folk what the difference is between a ute and a truck a, a ute in, a, in Australia is like a, a car with a tray on it be a pickup truck in America wouldn't it I don't know I'm just going to explain what they are in Australia and you Americans can just sort your own bloody definitions out alright a ute is a car with a tray a truck is a truck a big thing a semi trailer uh, yeah like a, a thing that it, like something you use to move house Something that drives with huge loads. So that's the difference. It's like a truck is a big, much bigger than a ute. You're right about this blocking. It's pissing me off. I told you, man. I warned you ages ago. I'm going to give it all clean. So, yeah, that's the difference. Next question is from James Kirkpatrick. Um, boys, would you ever go in a van and travel around the country or the world doing your pranks and podcasts live? It's funny that you fucking say that, you fucking Jimmo, because we're about to buy a big old van, aren't we? Mm. We finally, you know, we finally we've saved up some money, and now we're going to buy a big van. We can put so we don't have to fucking get into Julian's little bloody Audi. Where we can't, well, there's no room to put any yeah, props you or anything. Don't want to like mess anything you up. You're gonna in make there. the Marty and Michael van. Yeah, we're gonna get a big, big, it's big nice. van, and we, the back will be for filming shit, and then we'll be able to f just fill the rest with like six people, and then we can go on road trips. We're gonna go alien hunting. We can do a live Haunted podcast houses. somewhere. Go live podcast somewhere. We can, we can just drive around and just go and shake people's hands, man. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be good. We've always wanted to go to Perth. Hundred. Yeah, me too. It's just the other side. There's abandoned towns in Perth. We'll talk later. Sorry. Next um, question is from, from Leo. Leo. 
Matt, are you jealous of Queston's hair? Why would I be jealous of anything? It's pretty that thick and full hair. That was like Fuck. that was one I thing prefer, that stood out. I prefer I prefer the shave. Yeah, well, look, it was With very thick and it was twins? a very full head of hair. I noticed that and it was quite healthy. So, I, look, you know, each to their own. But if, <laughs> yeah, like I would think about this. He I'm might have hair, but you've got though. fucking two eyes. I'm way better looking than Question. Yeah, I'd rather two well, eyes. Over I hair. think you guys are just different hot. He's like more of a quirky hot, and you're like more like mainstream hot. Mm. Man, not That's question. But he, but goth chicks would probably like question more. Yeah, yeah someone yeah. did say he looked like uh, Jonathan Davis from Corn. I thought <laughs> that was true. Next question is from oh my god. Next question is from Question Brown. Another question has appeared. Um, <laughs> oh my god, this is pretty. This is definitely a question. Question, um, boys, would you rather drink a cup of your mum's period or your dad's sperm oh man easy dad's sperm yeah, like, yeah dad's sperm 100 percent. it's it, it's like it, it's it changes it it's if it's in the that, opposite sex with family yeah. it's, it's at least if you with your dad your dad's like look well, know, we'll just, let's just it. get this done and we can move on from this with mom it's like you can't and say that it's blood oh like yeah, definitely. I've heard about you know Taylor talks about the blood clot. Yes. Oh, I choose the. I'd even prefer to to drain a cup of dad blood from his dick, put a slice yeah. down the shark. I'd rather drink that than period blood. <laughs> this has gotten out of hand. What th these people ask these questions, and we must be honest. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, and yeah, I've already done like what? My, no, you haven't my, done anything. I've done my own. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> next question is from matthew cook what are your favorite movies i like comedies eh? i like a big comedy fan anchorman hot rod like top three anchorman hot rod and borat mm. oh, hot rod's good anchorman's all right borat is good uh, the beach yeah titanic <laughs> And Billy Madison. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to chug a fourth one in and say Freddie Got Fingered. <laughs> yeah, Freddie Got Fingered is also good. We're not, yeah. But yeah, comedies are good. But fuck, The Beach, if you haven't seen it, is great. The Titanic is just, if you want to feel emotions and cry, like. You've been to Thailand. In the movie The Beach, there's a scene at the start where he goes, <laughs> do you want to drink snake's blood? Is that possible to do there? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it is. I've seen it. Really? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Probably. I'd say so. Yeah, it's everywhere. Isn't oh, I it? never you just did go it. and fucking have a sip, can't. Tuh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Next <laughs> question is from Daniel Smith. <laughs> Cassan <Cal> Road. <laughs> Sorry, I just read the question. Next question is from Daniel Smith. Who would win in a suck off between Requifton and Queston? In a suck off. Um, well, Requifton doesn't have a mouth yet. <laughs> so, and I feel like Queston. Who's I remember laughing at Requifton. Is that a girl? That's, that's Matt Brown's old creature that he made out of tits and... Oh, yeah. Requifton, that's it. Yeah. yeah so, Requifton very can't good. suck, but... Uh, and Queston had these... Yeah, you could see very defined um, neck muscles. I assume to... Yeah, so it, I reckon Queston for sure would be able to suck come out of you, whether you are hard, flaccid, asleep, unconscious. I reckon he'd be able to get something out of there. Even dead? I wonder if you could just suck until something came out on a flaccid dick. Did, yeah, I reckon you could. Yeah. A little science experiment there, is it? Me and Julian. Um, <laughs> do you reckon... Oh, this is a weird one. Say someone's been dead for... Two weeks. No, nah, I'm going to go with one hour. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Do you reckon you could... And it's a boy. Do you reckon you could jerk them off and they'd still come? No, 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 no. Because no. all the harder wouldn't be pumping. Yeah. But you I'm pretty blood. sure all the bodily fluids, um, as it's decomposing, I'm pretty sure they all slowly seep out. Seep out. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah they blow it up shit. and seep out. I think I wouldn't know. I haven't seen one. Yeah, we uh, we have. have. We have seen a body. All right, we watched him die right in front of us. He was shot because he was abusive to a Thai prostitute. We walked around the corner right after the gunshot and we stood there and watched him bleed to death. 
We told that story yeah. in an old We have episode. said that. I think it was season one something. Season one. That's where all our good stories are. We've run out. All right. Two more. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we haven't run out. Is this some that we can't really say? Yeah, and there's a lot that we can't remember either because of the bloody uh, the the effect that these drugs have on our <laughs> short term memory. It's like it's gone. It's, a good <laughs> it's completely gone, and it's definitely changed our personality. All right, a couple more <laughs> questions, and we're, we're going to move on. Um, question. Next question is from Stephen Lucia. Um, has Michael picked a new shower curtain yet? No. I don't know. He's got toilet paper though, finally. Julian, fun? after two and a half weeks of having Oh, none, Julian bought it. Julian. Oh, remember right. he ran out. He was like, I can't fucking deal with this anymore. <laughs> and he drove to the shops. And he didn't just get the cheap stuff. He got like the really expensive. Yeah, like, the nice biggest amount paper. too. too. Yeah. And he's like, now you better have it for like- A few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah, right. there you go. One final question for oh. this week. It is from Brian Childers- Marty and Michael, did either of your parents ever tell you that you couldn't hang out with each other at any point in your friendship? No, they never said that. There was definitely mum never mum knew she couldn't really tell me who to hang out with or or not. And she didn't really Yeah, I never really fucking brought mates around and stuff. So I was just like, Yep, see ya mum on weekends and then I just leave and come back on fucking Sunday night and Good night, Mum, go to bed. <laughs> But no, she fucking she thought Michael was fucking weird sometimes. Weird as fucking fuck. Rings the doorbell on Christmas Day and what did you say? Oh, I'm not wearing anything or something. Yeah, Mike, well, like, Mike was picking me up to go so we could go get fucked up on Christmas Day. Go and get fucked up on drugs and piss. And I'm having fucking Christmas breakfast with mum. And Michael rings the doorbell. And mum was like, oh, come up and have some food. And he's oh, I'm not wearing any clothes. I didn't think that they could all hear me. I thought it was just Marty on the phone. <laughs> So the whole fucking family heard it. And I don't know why. I don't think I had any clean clothes. Yeah, you were I just think dressed. Were at- he was poorly dressed. But what came out of his mouth was, oh, I don't have any clothes. I think I was literally in like underwear because my clothes were at James's. I think he just didn't have party. shoes on and he had some grotty shorts on or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, she definitely, my mum loves you. Yeah. She thinks that. All the stories I left I think so, in. Yeah. Like she, I definitely Even think though she's you, like- you tried to blame everything that happened in that house. Whenever you were accused of something, you <laughs> automatically would blame Martos. <laughs> you were like, you've gone and shut in the laundry. Oh, it was Marty. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. There's been some weird times. You were my scapegoat. Yeah. But like all in all, yeah. My parents definitely think I reckon you are not all there, but like you're more there <laughs> than I am there. A part of me is not here yeah but yeah it's it's worked out well i saw also um before we move on i saw this comment that i would like to um answer well, i've got comments as well yeah yeah um i just saw this where to go something about drugs yeah yeah i've got it hang on it's just here oh yeah here we go from Corey. um where is it it was such a beautiful comment it's not a um it's not a is much it the MD it's one? not very liked yeah, the MD. Yeah, I, I, yeah, actually, I've got it somewhere there, but yeah, go for it. Uh, so, Corey has asked, how many caps or for how long were you guys doing it for? Was doing 10 plus every weekend for nine months. Haha, <laughs> kind of worried about my brain now. Yeah, that's probably a bit much, man. That's fucking, I think the most we ever did and we got some good shit. The, some of the, the scariest sessions was we would do... More than that, it'd been in a very short period of time because we'd be forgetting that we just had yeah. some. So, and those were the ones that really, truly fried our mm. brain. But with MDMA, I would fucking, even if you just cycle through and maybe one weekend do something else and, and then, because MDMA every weekend, yeah, you will fucking have Alzheimer's by the time you're 40 come. Mm. I've been around you guys sober while you're on MD and I, I remember watching you guys take it and literally like two or three minutes later going, Hey, we've got to take another one. It's been yeah, a while. It's just every exactly. 30 and seconds. I've had to like go, I've had to go, st- I've had to like stop you. Yeah. And that, and sometimes I put a timer on when we're having kick ons mm. and that saved our life sometimes. Cause we'd be like, have one, I'd start the timer and then we'd just be sitting there forgetting what we're saying. And then, oh, so another one looked down two minutes ago on and then, oh, fuck, that's right. I started a timer. <laughs> it's only been two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, stay away from it, but yeah. just do it now and then. 
Yeah, MDMA it's is a, a now is and a, then. MDMA drug. is a fucking and it's better. It's more fun yeah. if you do it a little bit every now and then. Like it has more of an effect. If you're pumping out ten every weekend, <laughs> it's it's pointless because you're just fucking digging your holes into your brain. And it's not you don't even get you're high. Not feeling it, yeah, because yeah. all your serotonin's all flush there, you cock hole cunt. Um, we're getting on with time, so do you want to jump to a secret? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Next segment has been renamed. To- yeah and there's a segment where we answer your where we read your secrets anonymously where you send us the crimes that you've done and is that it i thought that's it that's it secrets and crimes that you guys have done i love this shit man um, secret for the podcast. I recently attended my best. F- oh, sorry. I recently attended my best friend's twenty first birthday. Bullshit. Um, at a bar in the city, his entire family attended. At the end of the night, I was saying goodbye to everyone, and I took a taxi home with his mum and his dad, as they live close to me, and he lives in another direction. Oh wow, this is good already. I know where this is going now. Im. <laughs> Now, in my group of friends, I'm known as the lady killer. I'm pretty lucky with the ladies, which my, like fri- which my friend's parents knew. It's Julian. <laughs> in their drunken chatter, they asked me what my wildest experience was. I told them my story and they laughed and said I was a rookie. My best mate's dad, dead set, looked me in the eyes and said, Fuck. come and see me when you have watched two 18-year-olds spit roast your wife <laughs> while you pull yourself off in the corner. And then you'll have a wild story to tell. Oh, shit, dude. That's so intense. It'd be so embarrassing if my father said that to my friend. Yeah, fuck me. (laughs) Hang on, sorry. This continues. Um, He's going to fuck his fucking best mate's mum. Yeah, it's going to be fucking- We got to the house and they they strangely invited me in for drinks. I don't know why I said yes, but I did. I sat in the living room (laughs) of my best friend's parents that have known me since I was a kid- and watch them completely strip off and start fucking straight in front of me. Oh my God. I was frozen with fear and was so scared, but they invited me to join in in a very kind way that I couldn't resist. And I had a wild threesome <laughs> with my best friend's parents. <gasps> what? Even the dad? The dad fucked him? <laughs> what? Uh, what? Yeah, wait. It doesn't say, it just says he has a threesome. Um, <laughs> Holy shit. He says it was like porn and we finished like we were porn stars. Afterward, they said it's our secret and no one will know. Since then, I've had up to four different sex sessions with them both oh and attended a sex party. My best mate knows nothing. Dude, that Dude. is fucked. How, that, it's that fuck. is going to come out. It's going to come out one day. How do you hang out with your best friend? <laughs> yeah, feel, knowing that. so oh. sick. Imagine if I was fucking having threesomes with fucking oh. D- oh. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be so strange. Wait, wait. Just Tony on my Wait, wait, wait. Cunt, 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 cunt like, them names out. Cunt, cunt them out. Cut the names out. Cut that Connor. Yeah. It's Michael's mum on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> and his Sorry. dad got her in a fucking headlock behind us. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, that would yeah. change things. There's yeah, no way. You'd make the friendship different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. there's no way. Even you'd... like... Oh, if his friend found out, it'd be... But no, it's the... I couldn't live with that. They'd be like, fuck, how do you hang out with him yeah, anymore? Every, guilt would fuck every you. like DNM you have with him is just like... I think you'd have to think of the other side. What about the parents? Imagine you find out your parents fucked one of your friends. Yeah, that too. You, you've, you're ruining your, your I, best yeah, mate's be, life. Oh, fuck, yeah. And your family. And that, yeah, you're ruining his whole life because he can't... But we probably fuck. We can't fucking just three throwing stones. It is sick. <laughs> it, is sick. it is. That is fucking. Oh my god, rock. that's <laughs> fucking crazy, man. I could never do I that can't, except yeah. for with Michael's. Mom. It was such a good story, but part of me just wanted a few more details. Like, I, what yeah. did they look like? What else did you do? <laughs> I guess. I think. I, like that's yeah. Good secret. What's your name? It's. It's something from the movies. That's something that you see in the movies. Like, I'd probably suggest stopping it. Yeah, because like, you've had your fun now. You've done it. Don't don't do the turn fucking the other silly, cheek and like get out now because it's it's it seems like it's already too late. If they're fucking every chance they get offering you threesomes, that best mate's gonna come home one day and see you pile driving his mum, 
And he's with your turn, dad man. having a bat in the corner. Oh, 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 oh that's yacht. That's yacht. <laughs> and he's going to fucking have a heart attack. Oh, yeah. That's going to change his life. Imagine if he joined in and then the like, and then the guy telling the secret is like, what the fuck? Now my best mate's here fucking his mum. Yeah, wow. With me? It could get weirder. It could always get weirder. The fuck? Yeah, rock and roll, man. Anyway, that's that it? one of the good ones we've had in a while. Give so that guy a pat, yeah. pat, very good pat on the pat on the pat on the back. Um, all right, next segment. Next segment has been renamed to Go You My Yeah. And this is a segment where we just open shit that you guys send to our PO box. <laughs> so fucking, if you want to send us some shit, we open everything live. Here's the address there. And fucking send some shit. Here we go. All right. You guys love this segment, apparently. So we can take our time and open everything. All right. We have a um, package here from Greg. I'm not going to read his last name in case he doesn't want us to open this. It's not my dad. Right. This one hasn't got a name on to it. To Marty but- Michael Love Cindy. Oh, Cindy, this might be from you too because... Yeah, another a key ring. Who? We get so key many shit sent. All these little things from China. Can I have a scissors or some shit? Yeah. Yeah, wow. So it's like a key ring that looks like shit. Oh, well, you can put that on your chalk. I might, yeah, I'll put that on my key ring. Ooh. Thank you. Does it feel funny? Yeah, it does feel a bit gross. Hey. <laughs> does it feel like poo? Actually, yeah. Just just put it on your keys, like man. Punching. I get so nervous. Put on your keys. Opening these fucking boxes, eh? Hey, yeah, especially the last week's one exploded. Yeah, we still... Oh, you cleaned up all the glitter, Michael. He's yeah, a good boy, eh? Me. Mr. Brown. What was that, Matt? Fuck me, you can't too. All right, so fucking thank you. There's all these little gag gifts that I can use to make my life funnier. Oh, so they're the exploding golf balls. All right, so we got exploding golf balls. I'm we tempted got, to got- fucking just throw one on the ground and see what it's like. No, let's let's get people with them. And then we have this. Oh, so you put this. Oh, this is clever. Look, so you put this on the exhaust of any car and it whistles like a motherfucker. Otherwise, is it hard, like easy? Does it go on all? Like that doesn't look like that goes over an exhaust. Exhausts are bigger than that. Maybe into an exhaust. Okay, mix powder into hot food or drink. Hey, I was just thinking with your exploding golf balls, what if you went to a Victoria Park in the golf range and just drop it into someone's yeah, yeah, golf like basket? That. Oh! And watch them hit it. Yeah, I love that idea. Do you like that? Let's get heaps of these and yeah. get heaps of people with it. Make a compilation. Yeah, exploding golf balls at the golf range. Because yeah. they wouldn't I've they seen wouldn't them. It's, it's, like, it's like a little... Because yeah, you're, ne- you're never like going to prank someone out on the golf course because they always hold onto their own ball. Yeah, I know. It yeah, is tricky. So, but golfing range, very mm. different. Okay. Yeah, I would like to see that. I would. I don't know what belching powder is, but apparently you put this in people's food and drink and I guess it makes them belch. So, um, yeah. Thank you for that. We got some cool little fucking pranking gifts there. Well, and would trust me, this we is try and the, use them all. The pixel shop. The pixel shop? Yeah. Oh, wow. When Smacker, cunt, and Bob the Builder holding his fucking shit. That's a cool little sticker that someone sent us. Yeah, wow. It's different. When's Smoko, Beautiful. cunt. Cool. Thank you. And that's from... <laughs> Fuck, they haven't put their name on it. A lot of people don't put their name. That's okay. All right, I got a letter here. And what is this? Lepifit. Be someone who makes everybody feel like someone. What is this? Well, wait, I think maybe what the Pixel think? Shop. So, the pixelshop.com.au. Oh, these, these are papers, Michael. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, someone sent us some papers. Let's see what it says on here. It's probably for fucking oh, wow. Julian, is it? Cute. Hey, boys. Warm regards from Montreal, Canada. I fucking hope this makes it to you. You've been keeping up with your shenanigans for fuck many years now. I hope someone fucking gives you a medal for all the good you put out into the world. See? Canadians are sick, man. I fucking love them. Anyway, here are some rolling papers we developed. Cannabis is legal in Canada land, but the stigma still exists, and our mission is to break that. It isn't going very well. The stigma is very strong. That's why we put the quote on the inside of the pack to remind everyone to be the best version of themselves and to be authentic while they do so. Lastly, I'm sorry to sign this rather anonymously, but I work for a big firm and my reputation with my peers would suffer if they knew i had a passion 
or interest in marijuana. Fishing, wishing you the best, Lepifit. IG. I don't know if he wants me to read. I better not read that. Let's follow him. I like yeah, this yeah, guy. Yeah, I like this guy too. Thank you fucking heaps, this guy. You're fucking exactly. And we're, look, we're look trying put to- a message inside of it. Be somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. And like, That's such a nice message. And we can jump on board with this myth, trying to kill the stigma that is attached to weed. It's yeah. fucking, oh, shit. Look at that. Ready? Oh, you scared me. <laughs> the fucking little sh- keyring shit <laughs> spits out fucking tongue. <laughs> oh. Oh, it hurts. Ready? Oh, yeah. That's enough. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Dear Marty and Michael, you guys are so fucking funny that you give me erections and I am nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this letter gets to you. <laughs> and you give me a good feedback. Love you. P.S. Marty and Michael, if you see Julian, kick or punch him in the nuts so he comes so hard that he can't reproduce and have kids. Very good. Thank you for that. Uh, the love shout out to all those kids who watch our shit. Fuck me. Fucking, if there are, imagine if having an audience of kids in front of us and saying the things that we do. I feel a bit rude, eh? A bit naughty. Yeah, it's definitely not made for kids, but whatever. I guess it makes sense that we're influencing. The- kids grow up so like. They, remember when you were young? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember. So like, I I, I get it. I'd be fucking watching this shit too. So this guy's just sent us a bunch of like uh, facts and stuff about uh, memes, I guess you'd call them, about Hitler. Um, so yeah, thanks uh, for that. We get sent a weirdly. Yeah, it's, it's always different, isn't it? It's always something new. <laughs> you never know. You just never know. You just never fucking know with us, do you? Exploding golf balls. Uh, we whistles. shit for yeah whistle whistles. We got bloody. Hitler. We got some bloody papers. Beautiful will come in handy for you, hey. You'll yeah. fucking use that. Yeah, Won't you, hey? I will. Yeah. Fucking oath, can't. Well, fucking keep sending in your secrets and your crimes. Let's try and extend that segment. And also, don't forget, if you want us to explain something, comment it and just start it with, like, explain this. Yeah. And then what you want us to explain, and we'll have a fucking digger that can't. Yeah. <laughs> should we do any more? Do you know what? I think we should do a prank call. It is prank call time. <sighs> This one is quite controversial. This is one of the most craziest things we've ever done, man. Michael's been saying, fuck, I just want to pay someone to toss me off and fucking suck my dick. I don't want to fucking meet girls in Norway. I just want to pay someone to suck me off and, and jerk me. But I don't know how to ask that, you know? I don't know how to find out which massage parlors are the ones who give happy endings. So, Darren... He's going to save the fucking day. So Darren's going to call around and see if we can't find a place, right, that does it. So I'm going to have to be subtle in the way I ask because they're not just going to say, yeah, yeah, we toss off. I wonder if the cops have got their, like, phones tapped. Yeah, probably. Remember they had that one with the Ipswich mayor? Oh, yeah, I did hear about that. Yeah, those Every single, like, Julian tells me they all do it. I've heard some like through work people like I've heard some pretty funny like like they reckon like ne- yeah nearly every single one does it really yeah like so well let's find out I'm not gonna read out the titles of these just because I don't want to like send anyone to jail so but, yeah um, maybe Connor bleep if, the store yeah, name if, if they say the if they name. say their store name we're gonna have to bleep that shit Dude, <laughs> but the, I'll I'll remember it for you Dude. thank you All mate. Right. do they hey eh? <clears throat> hello. Yeah, g'day. Um, my name's Darren. You guys do uh, massages, right? Yep. Um, you've got any um, space like available maybe like tomorrow night? Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow night. Uh, what time? Oh, I'm thinking like maybe I'll finish work at like 5.30, so I'll get you, you boys by like 6.30 or something. So about 6.30, 7 or something. If he's got something there, that'd be bloody smack on. Uh... Yeah, but can you call tomorrow? Because I'm not sure who's going to work tomorrow. Yeah, no worries. What, what kind of massages you do there, by the way? Is it just like deep uh, tissue and that? Or is it like... Yes, do- full body oil massage, deep tissue, relaxation. Right. So I've got some pretty sore spots like around my um, body and that. So you could like get in there and really like work the, the spots, whatever I say, sore and that? Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. So if, if I've got like, because I do like lots of heavy lifting and that, um, lots of lifting like up and down with my legs and that, sort of like the ins- yeah. inside of my legs, like up um, where the legs like meet my body, just inside of my legs there is, um, is quite sore. And also um, my uh, buttocks as well, they're like, uh, it's like heaps tired, eh? like it hurts to walk and that. So it'd just be like the ass and like inside um, leg, If you do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, you do that, right? Like, so you do ass. You do you do ass massages, right? Yes. Okay, great. And like with the oil and that, like that's like that's fine to get. Like, if some if some of the oil gets like on on me, like on my like um like sensitive bits, like that doesn't matter, right? That's like the type of oil that's allowed on there. Yes, you can, like, if you don't want oil, you, you can just talk to to who gonna massage you. Right, right, you right. You can don't use oil without uh, lotion as well. And it's definitely like a chick, chick doing that. It's definitely a chick massaging me. It's not, it's not some dude. What's that? It's definitely a uh, female giving me a massage. It's a woman, right? It's not um, a guy or nothing? Uh, it's a woman. Yeah right okay so like if if like if my sore spots like right like I wish I could show you the spot it's like it's like right down down there like in between my legs right mm. um mm. where like uh where that that spot is that's where it's like most sore do you know what I mean Yes you can just uh, ask the girls tomorrow and uh told her where you want a massage and she can give you a good massage Okay, good, because, like, I got uh, kicked in the nuts, like, a couple of weeks ago, and, like, they're still a bit, like, sore on that. So, like, if I need uh, my nuts, um, like, massage and that, like, you do use do that to my nuts and um, my, my young fella, they're a bit bloody, you know what I mean? You guys bloody um, give them a bit of a fucking touch-up too. Uh, can you ask, ask them tomorrow? You want me to ask someone tomorrow? Yes. You, what do you mean, ask them? Like, just walk in with my ass out? Is that what you mean, ask them? Yeah. What, so you want me to walk in with my pants down tomorrow and be showing my ass to whoever is massaging me? When, when you massage, you just talk to the girls who going to... Uh, where you want and what pressure you want you just talk to the girls yeah i'm just i'm just making sure before i come in right that um because like even like the inside in between my um yeah, butt, I butt know, cheeks but can you call tomorrow because i'm not working tomorrow so you just ask the girls straight away yeah but i'm you just call, you can call but i'm just you come. no worry i'm just making sure that you do these types of massages right because i don't want to come in and then the lady that's working there tomorrow say oh no sorry i don't do that so i've just got one more specific sort of spot like in between my ass cheeks i guess you could say like yeah, I know in, my ass, you just, in my ass in my asshole tomorrow you can just uh, uh ask call and ask you want me to ask tomorrow just don't waste your time Right, okay, so I'll call back tomorrow, right? And then yeah. I'll find out if the lady there can pop a thumb in my ass and also toss my cock off till I come in a blanket. Okay. Is that, is that right? Yes. All right, no worries. Well, I'm going to come in tomorrow and um, expect a um, bit of a toss and um, quick pop a thumb in the ass as well. How's that? Bye. All right, no worries, darling. I'll fucking see you tomorrow. Two, 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 two. Darling, darling, darling. Ah! Yeah, it's she's like straight out pretty much just said, Yeah, we will fucking toss you off. Was that good enough? Yeah, Alright, I could do, do another one. That was fine. I we- should have said tonight so she couldn't get around her because she's just like, We need them to confirm that they can do this. Alright, well let's do, we'll do one more. One more. Mm-hmm. I hope it's a different one. <laughs> good afternoon. Message. Kev speaking. Yeah, good day, Um, my name's Darren. Um, I was just quickly checking. A bit late notice. I know. Do you um do you have a spot in like an hour and a half, like six thirty seven ish, or you's done by like seven, right? We're finished at seven, but there is a, 
there's an hour and a half at 5.30. What about if I come, because I'm like f- done work now, right? I could probably be there by about 6. Yeah, you can do an hour, yeah. Yeah, bloody oath. All right, well, let's bloody do that. Now, Kev, before I come in, um, what what types of uh, massages do you do there exactly? Like, do you do the massages or is there no, other, someone no. else? No, that, well, my wife does it. Um, it's just a, re- a full remedial Thai massage. Yeah, right. So, um, what like because I've got like real tight spots, um, yeah, just because yeah, sure. I do a lot of lot of heavy lifting like with my legs and that. So, like, up sort of um, up like upper legs, like in the middle of like my legs and that. It's quite tight there, and also yeah. like um, the the butt the my ass a bit um, just from lifting doing squats and that all day. My ass yeah, is like yeah, quite yeah, tight, exactly. so so she can she can fix that problem, right? Yeah. And like I'm quite like stressed out too at the moment. So like, do you do like um, any like additional stuff like on no top way. on top of the massages, no. or use no, use no. just strictly massage? Strictly massage. So if I chuck another 50 in, she won't like pop, no pop a thumb up in the ass or nothing? No, mate, if you want to do that, you, guess, uh, you have to go somewhere. Anyway, don't worry about it. We're not taking you. Well, what about, what about just right. a quick toss? Oh, come on, Kevy, no, mate. You know what it's like. No, bloody slaving me, slaving me bloody work off. I need no, some, some bit of relief, Kevy. Come, right. come on, you can do it, mate. Come on, Kevy. What are you doing? You're bloody throwing away money, mate. You're throwing money straight down the... Just give me your wife. <laughs> <laughs> give me your wife, Kevin! <laughs> oh, dude. That was so hard. That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin and his wife. Oh, my <laughs> bloody eyes lit up when he's like, no, it's just me and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's Fuck Prank Call, episode number 29. We're next week, start of the final 10 of the season. That's fucking, that's gone quick. That has gone hot. Yeah, we're older. Fuck me, this is fucking flying off gun. We've had a big season, man. Yeah, I guess we fucking found out that Hamish and Andy weren't simulations. Yeah, man, that's, that's Shane crazy. Shane Walken spin. Shane Walken yeah. still spin. We got fucking- Tell Corby almost became my girlfriend. Dave Hughes. I, I pretty much dated her for a bit. Something about Dave Hughes. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Isn't that just so oh, stupid? We are the We're fucking the best. best. There's no doubt about it, everyone. Look, the results are in. We're the fucking best now. <laughs> There's a fucking teeth on the table, mate. <laughs> If that's not proof of the best, then I don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking clean this shit up. We're the best. Uh, Episode 30 next week. Stay with it and stay strong. Question can get fucked. <laughs> <laughs>